are we going on? Are we going on record on this? All right, well let's 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 hop into this. Into the Mars, the oh, Mars. Nice. You should put like an effect on that. Ah, uh, oh shit! Into the Mars. Okay, so before rolling here, we're talking about. <clears throat> Ooh, maybe you could like edit back. Like some kind of, do you know when, 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 if you listen to a podcast and uh-huh. it's just like, hey, remember when you, you said that and then it had to have like a clip, like an audio clip and it's just kind of. Your things are like regular size now. Yeah. Wait. Well, hey. Instead of sissy size. Oh. Do you know what? That's what they do in Hooters. What? Uh, I'm, cause I, I remember when I was talking to Brooke about this. Um, oh, that's right, Brooke, Brooke Bear. Uh, recently engaged, Brooke Bear. No way. Yeah, good, good for, for her. her. Yeah, good for her. Um, but I, it was one of my first few times in in Hooters. Ah. Uh-huh. Following up, talking to her about it, and she was, and she was talking about the whole like, like procedures and stuff. Like, when, when was the last time you were there? Years ago. Okay, but okay. So let me many years. Let ago. me tell you about my situation. Then I'll talk to you about what what. Brooks said after. Are we going on? Are we going on record on this? Why, I, why not? I don't care. All right. Well, let's 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 hop into this. Anyway, so as I was saying, um, yes. no, that won't make sense no. um, with all this. I was saying how uh, God, how did we get on? So the, we had a uh, we had a coworker. But how did we get uh, on to the topic? Co-worker. You said something. Uh, oh, you you called me a sissy. I that's called that's a sissy. Yeah. Yes. So I was and the the. the It'll it'll make sense, um, but I I then I asked Rob when it was the last time he was at Hooters, and he, you don't about a year ago? Uh, no, not a year ago. I mean, we're we're talking a good eight years ago. Oh wow! Uh, okay, I've been I've been to Hooters maybe two, three times max in my whole life. I've been to Hooters. It's not in my delicious. four years. I've been there three times as well. Really? First time I don't remember with who. I don't remember why when oh um, no I I I just remember being there because I remember going with my friend Aideen who came to visit me after my first year here. Uh-huh. I remember taking her to it because she wanted to just be like, I went. Is it real? Like kind of uh, thing. It's because it's a joke for us. What over there? Yeah, we don't have anything like that. We I think I've I like, I, th- I think I've had that on record too. It's as like well. it's like the um, like uh, I don't know why you would. They don't have anything. Like their food, they don't have like a fancy like. No, they oh, don't, we gotta go to Hooters for this. Apparently, not, you go to Hooters for the wings. Yeah, apparently. I did that to uh, a long time ago. Oh uh, wait, I caught Jeff's wife. I've been four times on. Um, I, oh. She was on like Messenger. Yeah. It was like the middle of the day, and I sent her something. It said, "Do you go to Hooters for the the wings or the bitches?" And then she immediately got offline, and I had asked her about it later. She's like, oh, I was showing my coworker something on the computer, and then that popped up. So, yeah, I had to get out of that. Nice. I was like, oh, sorry. Yeah. My bad. Yeah, I always had the that fear that when, like, especially with, like, Facebook chat, because it's that when you message someone, that because, you, you know, back in the day, no one had Facebook on their phone. They all, right, it was right. always, like, they had to log into their computer, yeah. and someone would have it at work, and then I'd always be like, hey, what's up, bitch and And... Yeah. and and we're like, wait, did I just message them while they're at work? And maybe mm-hmm. it's a big screen, and someone just do do. Like yeah. I just that came. I I always had that fear. Anyway, um, I've been four times actually. So four uh, times in four years. Yeah, I think so. Ooh. We went for Zach's birthday. His twentieth. His twentieth. Yeah, I had a nice. Yeah. I had a nice beer and salute of him. <laughs> Jeez. No, we just. We just I could see him. him. He, was, he was all excited about it. I'm guessing uh, he was just quiet and sat there. I, if anything, really? I was talking to more girls, and I wasn't even. I was just trying to get some more wings because they were like they were bottomless, and they give me like six. Were they bottomless? They, okay, so, so the, I guess they, that's why they go for the wings. That they give you six, and then you can't order until y- you're done. But that's they okay. also take like twenty minutes. You yeah, know, like like land. so. Yeah. I kind of I doubled up my plate. My like my like my 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 paper bowl, you know, like like wings in a paper a basket. Uh huh. Do you, do you understand what I'm trying to say? Like like is in what the it, things that you just comes throw it. Yeah. What what is considered a hot dog boat? Yeah. Yes. So I would that's, get that's one. Terrible. I would eat it. Yeah. And then I would ask for I another one, and I put that one on top of the empty boat, 
and then another way because thing is there's multiple waitresses right, right, i don't right. think you have one right and then i just kind of hit it and had my empty one. Oh, can i have some more wings and they're like oh cool more, more wings on table five yeah, so yeah, then yeah. by the time i'm done and they're like wings i was like yep yeah, right here hold on yeah. and i just they weren't the best i was just no. really hungry no okay so did you see the undercover boss about now that yeah the one with the it. chick bouncing on her head or or was that something like or was that who's the, gonna go home was early? that the tilted kilt Remember that, that might one? Have been the tilted kilt. The guy. The, but there was one that. And they he's would, like, he broke a keg. <laughs> oh no, I don't know about that. He didn't know how, how to change a keg, and then he and oh, then shit. the like 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 the bar back who was just like this little. Cause the thing is, this guy was huge, yeah. and then the bar back was just this little weedy guy. Was like, it's it's, not, and then he's trying to change it, and it's like spraying everywhere, and then he's like, no, you just that wow, click. That's oh, it. You do. I don't know about that. So I I so I was talking about so I was saying to Rob that I'm gonna give you the the procedure that, that happened and i want to know if it's been the same in the last eight in the last do you kind of remember the last time you went like kind of remember so okay you walk in uh-huh. you see the hostess yep. they 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 sit down every waitress you pass will say hi welcome to hooters don't remember that basically they'll every waitress you you pass will say hi and there'll be a lot uh-huh. and there'll be ones on on those those uh steel s- uh, scooter things just going around it's just their job to go around or really? I, I guess or i don't know if it's their job but they just gotta like we're having fun someone do a lap and then we right so i sit down uh we got our menus and then a waitress comes over and then it's like on a scooter no 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 we just go hi my name is Catherine. Catherine. hi yes. i'm 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 Catherine, and they get hi, a a napkin uh-huh. and they write Catherine on it smiley face like you know, like I Catherine. Recall on. I recall something like so that. So they're right. Yeah. Oh, cool. Uh, hi, my name's Catherine. Here, here you go. Um, uh, she 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 sat down beside my friend, uh-huh. and she asked us about like sorry. She told us about the 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 specials. Right, and that's their thing is to sit down. Yeah, yeah. So she told us about their their specials, and then the, like what happy hour is and all that. And then they asked me, if, and then I said, "Cool, can I have a beer?" And like, uh, I, whatever. I think I said. A Bud Light for the sake of this. I probably yeah. didn't, but right, right, right. but he was like, cool, do you want a man size or a Hooter Girl sissy size? And I was just like, man, like man size. Like, what? So I got, I got, all of a sudden I get this like 24 ounce beer. Right. That's and then going to go warm. And then I, I, I looked at it like pint size is the, the sissy girl Hooter size. Just a pint. Yeah. You know, like that's, yeah. that's regular, but you want the man size. So, no. so as, even b- before our food comes, between the waitress leaving and then us checking out, there is at least five Hooter girls who come by and say, "Hi, how is everything? Oh, good, cool." They write their name on that 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 napkin, and then and then keep going. Well, that's just too much. So, like that would irritate the shit out this, of me. So Rob was saying before we started, we had a, we had a coworker of ours who worked there. Mm-hmm. Very, very. Very sweet girl. Very sweet girl. Very nice. Like honestly sweet. Yeah. Um like yeah, she was and just just yeah, just so nice. Anyway, so I I talked to her about it cuz I was like it's kind of weird in there, right? And she's like, "Yeah, that there, there's a whole bunch of things that n- need to be done besides actual service and yeah. half of them aren't hired because of service." And she she didn't get fired, but she got less hours in Hooters because they hired younger, younger staff. I she remember wasn't an older person. the was thing she, is, she no, she, she's, 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 she's probably under mid twenties now. Oh, yeah, and this was right. at least three years ago since I've been here four years, maybe t- two years ago or, or something. But she said, yeah, cause she, she, she was maybe 21, 22 when, when, when we first met her, but they said they hired like 17, 18 year olds, which just, they can't hire it. Maybe that's why there's so many damn people coming to your because table. they don't yeah because they can they can't pour beer they can right. carry it but they can't you can know they carry it? yes they I can didn't think they can carry no it. because we we were thinking about hiring she uh, someone who was 19 she was really good mm-hmm. but then we just thought it'd be so much stress because we looked into it and we were like we can pour her drinks we can make her drinks but she has but she can and but she she's allowed to carry them but she's not allowed to pour them or or make in the state of California I don't know where mm-hmm. it is anywhere else. So, but under eighteen, you can't transport them. Under no, under twenty one. Oh, sorry, under eighteen transport. Uh, I don't actually. We don't know that. I didn't. Yeah. Thing is, I didn't. I wasn't aware of this law at the time of her telling me it. So uh, gotcha. maybe they just hired young girls to be the hostess. Gotcha. Um. So, 
I was like, yeah, there's a whole bunch of procedure. Uh, you ha- you have to sit down, but there's a science to it. You have to sit down beside the most girls. So because you sit down beside the guy, the girl will get the girl right uh, will get jealous. Which I was like, wow, I didn't even think of that. And she did. She sat down right beside my friend. She didn't. She she didn't sit beside me. She she went right to that side. That's mm-hmm. that's crazy. Uh, they got to go around to constantly see if everything is okay because of apparently. Apparently, I could be home so wrong, but because there's so little experience in the service industry between all of these really? girls, there's just a constant check. Wow. So, and the thing is, they have secret shoppers all the, the time making sure that this method of of service is checked up on. Right. That they send in people like, oh, I only got five servers in the last Ooh. hour. I like, I see six on, you know, that kind of thing. Wow. Hooters. Um, uh, Hooters. Uh, I don't. I don't believe in it one fucking bit. I don't think uh, it's a good company. I get why it makes money. Oh, absolutely. It's silly to me. But the, like, but I mean, if 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 you're willing to pay for mediocre service, mediocre food, you know they're mediocre not mediocre like, everything because the, just because this girl has, assumingly, a large chest, some and a tight shirt. Like, okay, like, get a burger. At McDonald's, and go sit on the beach, because if that's all you're <laughs> but, worried about, but, you're gonna see more. But but these girls talk t- to you, and I think a part of it is to. Oh well. I think a part of their thing is to engage in conversation, not just about what are you gonna eat, like like, you know, it, like they have to kind of talk a bit. Well, right, right, right. Which you know, let's let's take a, uh, like a twenty year old, like nerd oh, I'm, I'm stereotyping completely now but a, a shy 20 year old male who just went like he's just going in because tiffany's working and he wants to see tiffany they got buddy they got bouncers all over the whole right like like it's like, a, like, it's <laughs> just, that, like if you're going I if you're lonely or whatever and just want somebody to talk to you for five minutes yeah like call your fucking friend but the thing is, you don't. What if you don't have any friends? They have friends because if you take your your whatever your stereotypical thing is, is yeah, your uh, I don't even know. Like because I don't even think like if if I don't even think that that they would go there. If it's just like a dude, like an eighteen year old dude who all he does is just sit at home and play video games all day. Like yeah, and then I'm sure he has to... friends. Mm-hmm. He has friends who do the same thing, whether they text or they all sit around and play video games together or whatever it is, or Magic the Gathering or whatever the fuck it is. Yeah. Like, whatever. Or take take me. Take me. 34. I don't do shit but sit at home and go to work. I miss interaction. But guess what I'm not doing? I'm not going to fucking Hooters. Well, you're 30. To talk you're, to somebody, whatever. You're 34. You'd go to the, like, you'd just go to a strip club. Like, you I know what I mean? Like, 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 no, no. But I mean, like, Hooters are for the younger crowd. It's like, not even that. It's not even your because right. I, well I okay because let's just, you you go to the strip club yeah. unless you I've noticed unless you're a regular there you're not really talking to people you have to go you have to pay in a fair amount of money ooh that's a cash twenty two to talk to these people wow so now if you're willing to pay for it I'm sure there's some sort of fucking service via the internet that's like hey you want to talk you're gonna spend twenty dollars on some shitty ass <laughs> wings anyways yeah. Why don't you call? Chat roulette kind of thing. Like, yeah. So, I mean, there's definitely ways around it. But I, I see, like, you have, like, your macho stereotype guy who's like, I'm going to go, let's go to Hooters because I'm going to get these numbers and fuck some bitches or whatever. Or you have, like, For some your, reason, I or just, you have, like, I just your picture, 50-year-old guy who's like, uh, I don't got much going on. No, uh, I, I just picture a group of, of 25 to 30-year-olds, mm-hmm. five of them, all in suits coming from an office job on a Friday. Happy hour and Hooters ends at six. They're like coming in t- and doing the right. ties, high fiving. Yeah. They're in semi good shape, you know, like those kind of guys. Jeez. I just, I don't see. What are you doing? Oh, it's just notes. Oh, notes. But what do you, what's the difference in Hooters and the Tilted Kilt besides dress wear? The Tilted Kilt, you have uh, like. Okay, wait, sorry. I, so let for, me start like for, this. No, for our... I've never been to Tilted Kilt. Oh, I've been to Tilted Kilt a few times. I had a job interview in the Tilted Kilt, and he said, 
Because I, I got in through a friend, mm-hmm. and he said that we just hired somebody. You seem better, mm-hmm. but that this is somebody's friend or something that they can't just like yeah. like you know a week like a week later say it's it's not working out. But I was like, I remember leaving being like, like that did that interview go well? Like you know, because 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 it was when I first got here, and uh-huh. uh, uh, I came in and I talked to him, and then he talked to me about like. What do you do? Like, you know, what about if this happens? And I'm like, well, right. it's got to be done. Kind of, you know, like if the toilet's over, like you're in the middle of bar backing and someone says, crap, the toilet's overflowing. Like, what do you do? Do you call a plumber? Do you, I'm like, I put, I put gloves on. Yeah. Try to handle that shit. Yeah. And then he was just like, oh man, the other guy said like, like I, I've, I've never cleaned a toilet in my life. Wow. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, well, you know, not wow. many people have, but. There's a first time uh, for everything kind of but thing. But the, the Tilted Kilt, from what I understand, or from what I can assume, seems like they offer, like, a good like good food, like a good menu. Mm-hmm. I, I don't I don't think it's all and, fucking and, Ramsey and, you, and, and shit. And you've never been? I've never been. But it's it seems oh, like Ramsey, one of the places Ramsey that would have. a field day there. Oh, I bet. But it seems what like is they, this? they would have, like, a signature food fucking or, like, oh. like, they would have decent food. They, they would take more care than a... Hooters they place. would have more comfort food in a way of it being an English style pub eatery. Like they would have like a right. shepherd's pie, but they would have like well, they wings have like and a, American stuff. They have they have a theme, not a gimmick. Yeah. Now, granted, it's like they're playing like their gimmick is playing off of their theme, yeah. which is okay. Well, we got kilts, whatever. Let's just give the girls short skirts and tight tops because it's kind of what you're just gonna do with servers, anyways. Yeah. So, but they have like a a thing about it. Hooters doesn't have a theme. It's just, well, we've got girls in really tight clothes. Like, that sounds like yeah. And food. How like, old, how old is Hooters food? now? I don't know. I don't know how long they've been around for. That'd be a documentary to watch. Yeah. It's like when did when did all that start? Like, did they have? Maybe they. W- I'm oh. sure that like, that was like you know what would make us a lot of money, guys. Yeah. But I now. No, but maybe wonder, it started did, did because that... one of the waitresses just had wore tight clothes and had big breasts, and they were just like, you know, like, 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 was an idea that someone started, or was it something that they were they were brought into? I can see it going like this because you watch the old movies, like the the movies that take place in the fifties or whatever, and yeah. it's just your servers are just like in pants or like like a like a Denny's, yeah, like you just have waitresses, but then. You have people who are going to gentlemen clubs, and they're just like, "Oh, I wonder, I wonder if we can take these two ideas and mesh them together." Because I, I wonder, like back in the day, like what did the what did the the servers at bars wear back in the day, or were they all majority men? You know what I mean? Yeah, I get you. I wonder, but I'm sure I'm sure there was some sort of like gentlemen's club server mix me- like mix up, and then it was just like we're just gonna do this. Because guys will pay extra for this and come in just for this. Which is another thing I don't understand. Like, I've never based me wanting to be somewhere on what the girls look like. There, There's a... Now, if we're choosing strip clubs, like, hey, we're going to a strip club. Where do you want to go? Oh, then it's like, okay. You want, like, a portfolio? Let's, like, <laughs> let's juggle this and figure out this one's in the middle of fucking shit town. This one's blah, 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 blah. Who do we think has the better girls to watch? I don't know. I don't frequent strip clubs. A- a- April first, nineteen eighty-three. That's not that old. That's as old as you oh, are. That that is a month. I am a month older than that. Wow. Interesting. Does it give a Does it give a rundown on? Yeah. On why. The date was April Fool's Day. That's right. Huh. The date was an April Fool's Day joke because the original six owners believed that their that their prospect was going to fail. The first Hooters restaurant was built on site of a former rundown nightclub uh-huh. that has been purchased for at a low price. So many businessmen that have filled on the particular location that the Hooters founders built a small graveyard at the front door. Jesus. <laughs> the first restaurant opened its doors on October 4th. In Clearwater, the original location was decorated as memorabilia. Blah, blah. I don't know why they went all tight girls and stuff, but hmm. I mean tight. But clothes. that that wasn't the original concept. 
uh, I guess it was. I'm trying to f- read this, but without just you know having a podcast of me reading. <laughs> mm. Um, there's a. Sorry, I've. There is a restaurant downtown in the in the Gasam district, mm-hmm. San Diego, called Do- Dublin Square, uh-huh. I- I- Irish bar and eatery. But the girls walk around in same kind of outfit as Hooters, maybe like a f- sorry, same outfit as the the tilted kilt, short short kilted skirt and like a schoolgirl tied up thing. Right. And I'm kind of like, oh yeah, like in Dublin. <laughs> right. Oh, this is how it is in Dublin. Are there? Uh What's it called? Um, uh, school dress codes in the in the Ireland? Uh, for yeah, majority of schools in Ireland have a uniform. That's what it is. But I, I, in, I know of one school, New Park, that only had a hoodie. That Everybody had to wear a hoodie. No, but that they, they had a uniform hoodie, because I I don't think they were because because there's a lot of there. There's a lot of private schools, not many pu- not many public. Uh-huh. Education back in the, the day wasn't that expensive, but uh, uh, in the secondary school, like middle school and high school times, right. they there's not many public versions of them mm-hmm. that would have no 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 uniforms. You, uniforms weren't that cheap. You just buy one or two of each. Right. Last year, a year, maybe two years. Mm-hmm. I I had God. I I had a uni- I had a uniform. My my whole School year, kindergarten all the way up to and high school. Wore the same one? Well, no, but I had to wear one the whole time. Oh. Like, okay, the, yeah, it was gray pants, gray shirt, gray jumper, sorry, gray sweater, and a and a and a black no. black yellow red tie. What's the point of a uniform? Uh, I I who like, who did is I, it? Because did I, we I, fuck? Did I've, we already talk about this? Because I feel like I I have information in my head, but I don't know why I would know this without having to look it up, and I don't know why I would look it up without having to bring it to this. No, we haven't talked about it here. I've heard things to where it's so everybody, like, because you have the cool kids who has all the new shit, then you have the people who are not as well off, so they they're not getting made fun of, and blah blah blah. Which I can see it making sense, but I don't. Like, I don't recall ever finding the kid whose parents aren't doing well, and then you're just like, ah, uh, look at your fucked up shirt. Hmm. Like, yeah, we we made fun well, of a lot of people. It, it automatically but takes... But even, like, the cool kids, you're like, no, oh, but look at your it cool automatically fucked up shirt. takes out the, the, like... Like, the class levels? Yeah, kind of. Right. Like, like, they'll be found, but... You know what I mean? Like, like you you wear a fucking anime shirt to school one day, and yeah. then all of a sudden, like you wear it on the first day, and then all of a sudden you're anime boy, and oh, uh, you're anime boy, and you're into the weird stuff. Is it? You like hentai porn and all that, but all of a sudden, you know, if is well, it okay. really that intense? No, but it can be. Call. Come on, like but you know how bad high school kids are. But I mean that you got to express yourself too, like true. But I, so I... Training people to be individuals. I was against uniforms, but then I put more thought into it, and it's it's true. It's kind of like... Like, it's it's almost like you're on a team, right? And then uh, and then a team ha- ha- has a uniform. Mm-hmm. And the thing is, you're a part of th- this school. Like it or not, you're in CBC Monkstown, my, my school. Like, I was... That's where I went. Not like it or not. Like, I could have right. left, but this uniform... Regardless of me not, oh, oh, Siri trying to break in. Siri was trying to jump in on that. Oh, this this uniform, regardless of me not wanting to wear it or not, made me a part of a bigger thing. Right, and I and I didn't like it at the time, but looking back on it now, I kind of like I respect that. I was like I was a part of this this school, this mm-hmm. group. I wasn't a part of that group. And it's like if there's a room full of kids mm-hmm. and I see one and I don't know anyone, but I see one guy and I'm the least popular guy and he's the most popular guy in my school, we'll have something to bond over and we'll be like, hey, hey, man, what's up? Hey, nice uniform. Well, no, not that. Like like, like this is on like a Saturday or a Sunday. You know what I mean? Like, this is at like a disco. Oh. And I'd see another Monkstown guy and I would probably say hi to him because we're in the same school. We're the only two there that are in the same school. Uh, so it's kind of like that kind of unity that I got from wearing a uniform. 
Really? U- unity uniform. Mm. Yeah. I but. know nothing about it. I've never had to wear a fucking uniform. Well, Ever. yeah. Like, would you, if someone said you had to wear one for the kitchen? Oh, well, I mean. No, I mean, I think, no, 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 I no. no but if someone, if someone said you had, no, no, no. If someone said you work. had to wear a matching uniform in the kitchen, would you be for or against it? You're, you're talking about like work. Uh, you work for mats and everything. So well, no, they no, that, that's where I mess up. Like, yes, there, I do have a, a, a work uniform. No, but th- this is one where you bought. Like, hey, when I worked in the hotel, uh-huh. we all wore the same thing. We had to buy our we had to buy our shirts from work. Yes, and everything said uh, the Burlington Hotel on mm. on the, the shirt. Right. So this is a uniform. Do you have anything like that, or do you just go like, hey, wear white and black, show up? Well, no, well, like like in Target, like, anything red. <laughs> yeah, anything red. Um, so yeah, yeah. Obviously, I've I've had to wear work uniforms. Like now, I have to wear uh, a fucking chef coat with the company name on it Ooh. and their little logo. And I don't. It doesn't. I don't think it has my name on. It. Maybe it does. I don't think it does. And then I got to wear my name badge and all this shit. So yeah, but like if I see any of them out, I just like. Hey, you wouldn't say hi to like in passing or if we made eye contact, but I wouldn't like, Hey, Hey guys, remember we work together. (laughs) Hey, no, I don't give a fuck. Like everybody has their own fucking life. A lot of people not trying to hang out outside of work. It's just, it is what it is. Yeah. But I, I didn't even, I didn't even flip that over to a work thing to go back on things now. I remember what Brooks talking about the hoodie's uniform. They got to keep things in line and to not kind of get really into it because it just sounds kind of weird because they're like 18-year-old girls, uh. hairless. So they got to like keep like everything shaved, smooth. And wait, these wait, are wait, small wait, wait, wait. uniforms. They tell them... They have inspection. Shave it all. They have everything. They ha- no, not shave. Like, I don't know if they they can say that. But they have... Uh, da Vinci, the human male, yes. typed inspections, arms out, leg, legs out, and just kind of checking the uniform and stuff. That's what she told me. I once again, show me, uh, now, show me a Hooters okay, documentary. Let's, let's go back behind the Hooters. To, dum, dum, dum. Uh, what's it called? Undercover Boss. Yeah, you said you've seen that one. I've seen the one with the tilted kilt. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna. I'm going to show you, I'm going to try to pull it up where there's this guy and he's just, he's just pretty much just like an asshole pervert. Um, and he, he has the girls like do stupid shit or like one of them. It's like, Oh, we got to cut somebody who's going to get cut. Uh, let's see everybody put your hands behind your back and eat a bunch of beans. Like shit, like that, or like everybody uh, is the undercover boss jumping, jumping jacks. Is the undercover boss a um a uh, a male or a female? Um, what the fuck am I doing? Uh, it's a male. Okay, it's a male. So, is that is is that the guy? Yeah, yeah. that's that's the manager of this branch. That I guess that's like the big guy. So immediately he's talking about the girls as a product, which I can understand. But like you can't, you can't just call them products, really. I, we just watched a video from the um, Undercover Boss series that Rob's a big fan of about Hooters. Yeah, now, do you know who that guy was? Like, regards to... What? The, the guy who was running the show? N- like, who the Undercover Boss was. Like, what level he, of... He's, like, the owner. Or he's, like, a CEO. Usually, okay. it's a CEO of a company. Okay. So... No, but, like, I mean, like, because Hooters is so big, I doubt there's one, you yeah, know well, what I mean? There's like, a main, like, there's, like, a main corporate office. No, no, I mean, like, there's not just one person who then... People are under him, and then umbrella, 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 umbrella. You know yes. what I mean? Like, okay, okay. Yes, just yeah, just like many. But 
you 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 take the CEO, who's one of the highest up there. Now, this is where I I get like I wonder from this show because they showed him being trained by a manager, uh-huh. and that manager was just like all like you know I'm talking about oh what happening now? Mm-hmm. He was just disrespecting women and right. hit a bean eating contest to get out early. Yeah, and then why would that guy? He knows what he's doing is wrong. Why would he do it on 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 camera? Do, do, do you know what I mean? Like, what he knows what he's doing is. I mean, you just like you, what? What's that? What's that guy doing now? Do you think you get it? I think they fired him. Of course, of course, they fired him. But I mean, he's like I, he's trying to be badass for the camera. I mean, you have somebody with an attitude like that is, and a mentality. If that like was that, me, I'd be like, I would st- I'd not stop the show, but I'd be like, what are you? What are you doing? And then he can't. Because if he, because the thing is, is if he tells that manager, that manager is gonna could possibly call. Hey man, be on your best behavior. Be this. Be this. Be this. And then he won't get like the idea is to get a feel of how the company's running. Yeah. So he continuously goes. He goes to all these different locations. There's like four or five different cities, different locations that he goes to. He goes to like the best selling or like the one with the best numbers, the one with the worst numbers. And then just a couple in between. Yeah. Like if there's a program they're trying out, like uh, we're doing whatever. We're doing boneless wings here. We want to see how it's doing. So that's his thing. He goes around to see whatever. But this one either has the worst numbers or the biggest complaints. I don't fucking know. But he ends up at this one. So this guy's like, this is how I run the show. And he's trying to show off in front of this new guy. Like, this is how we do the show here. And ba 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 Like, we treat the girls fucking poorly. And it's just the, the, this dude. The, these girls are spoiled, and yeah, that's what he calls these. They're all prima donnas. They're all divas. Like whatever. Now, okay, so if you have to give ex- inspections, like, oh, is their hair done or whatever, then fine. Just, you know what? Maybe tomorrow, instead of wearing your hair in a ponytail, do this or whatever. But it's just like, all right, the girl doesn't have nail polish. It's like, hey, no, maybe, but maybe I feel like, on. like y- you can bunny ears inspect the girls by just walking around you don't have to have them lined up you right, know what i but mean this guy's a fucking shit bag yeah like okay um where the bar we worked in uh, i do remember one of the managers bj telling me because i remember i was talking about something with him about work and he says you got it easy man i literally had to tell someone to kind of dress a little bit more sexy but I right. didn't really know how to say it, and I was like, yeah, "Ooh, and that's a rough he, thing." BJ's a great guy. Talk about Chuck. Yeah, yeah. He he he's a great, like he. Someone probably told him to to do it. Right. But he who, who was the server? I don't. I I don't. I honestly don't remember. Uh-huh. I think it was somebody who didn't last long. Who just were who? Because I remember there was like a, Did a have month. A couple hippie ones that worked there. May, may, maybe it was one of I them, can, but I, I remember him it. saying that because I I remember when we were doing a meeting, uh-huh. and one of the bar one of the head bartenders was reading out the rules for the, the servers, and it was like tank top and short shirts. Right. That's our that's our uniform. Now, as I was saying, you don't need to line up to see no what they're wearing or if they got makeup on or if they got their hair no. right. This guy's just you could just hat. like they just show up mm-hmm. and then you come like wait 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 a second you're you're didn't put any right like you're not wearing a uniform at all or whatever we think a uniform is yeah and i mean and again the guy's just an asshole yeah. he's and that's why he wants to have a bean sucking contest or a bean eating contest so he can go home and fucking throw that into the spank bank Ugh. and just like oh yeah. yeah or like brag to his friends like that guy's just he's trying so hard to be he's, a man he's in control of it's these, all of fucked these up. 19 20 year old girls yeah it's just it's sad so this whole hooters thing is a fucking we got a whole bender on it on Hooters, it's, the Hooters it's, episode. It's just a fucking joke. Yeah, fucking. I didn't mean for this. Uh, this is literally from the start to the end. <laughs> now, I do. I do have. <coughs> bless you. Excuse me. Speaking of works and companies, so I'm about I'm about into my second week on this Postmates thing. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I'm still having a fair amount of fun. Okay. With it. I like driving around. You got all that food. I'm you didn't. It, it, you you didn't talk. Actually, you got that last week. Last week, I don't know if we talked about it then. No, um, no, no, no. You got it. I think you got it because you finished. We, we wrapped up here and then you went out. I think you got it then. Oh yeah. So I got an order. It was probably sixty dollars worth of Mexican food. It look it looked like a lot. Four chimichangas, three fish tacos, 
and a whole bunch of other shit. Uh, Wavos Rancheros, all this. And I pick it up. I go to deliver it. I will I will happily de- describe all that food to any Irish person who 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 uh, messages me. Indeed, indeed. Only until the day they message so me. So I take it out there. Now I'm in. Uh, I'm picking it up actually over by your house at Oscars. Yeah. So I pick it up at Oscars, and then it tells me I've got to drive 20 minutes into La Jolla to drop this shit off. They they really like Oscars. Now the thing is, is a handful of Mexican food, a handful of Mexican food places. I'm learning. When it's a large order, will not make the food until you get there. Because I guess people uh, like just won't show up to pick the shit up. It's probably from experience. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and like, this is what like, yeah this is what they're telling. So I'm there, and to make all this fucking food, it takes a good twenty minutes, half hour for them to make it all because yeah. they're still getting drive through orders, they're still getting regular orders, and they have to make all this food. So I get there, twenty minutes, let's just say, and then I got to take another twenty minutes. To get there, mm-hmm. you know, and then it takes me whatever five or ten minutes. What what time is this at? Would you? This say? is like midnight. Okay. Okay. So it's it's at midnight. From where I'm at, it takes me ten minutes to get to Oscars, and then I have to wait for my turn to tell them I'm there to pick it up. Then I got to wait twenty minutes for them to make it. Then I have to drive twenty minutes. So now we're looking at an hour, just to get in the area. Yeah. I call them, call them, call them, call them, call them. Text them, text them. Nothing. One time I call. It feels like it sounds like they hang up on me, but whatever. And now there's a five minute timer that you're supposed to, to put on as soon as you get anywhere, because Postmates only lets only ha- requires you to wait for five minutes before you leave. Did not know that. And then now the thing is, is if you cancel the order, you don't get any money. But if they cancel the order, then you get some sort of compensation for your time. Okay. So I'm waiting, waiting, waiting. I wait a good half hour because this is a lot of fucking food. Yeah. And I know it took a while. So I was like, hey, you know what? If they're drunk, maybe they don't have their phone. Whatever. Nice guy, Rob. I try to be. Yeah. So then I sent him a message. Hey, man, I'm only waiting five more minutes. And um, whatever. Uh, I'm only waiting five more minutes. And then fucking, I don't know what it's The GoPro is going to explode on us. <laughs> no, it does that. It only records like 17 seconds. So, hey, man, I'm I'm only waiting five more minutes. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm only waiting five more minutes. And then, uh, so I take off. And Postmates tell you, tells you, you can either throw the food away or, uh, oh, what the fuck happened to the thing? Oh, you can either throw it away or you can keep it. Now, if it's an item, like if they want Band-Aids and like all this, just whatever. Returnable stuff? Yeah, then you go return it. And I was like, fuck it. I came home, so those chimichangas were good. I bet. Oscars. Had a chili verde burrito the other day. Any good? Well, for some reason, Postmates ordered this twice for this guy. So I go to pick it up, not knowing that some guy just picked it up and left. So by the time I get to my car, I put my little sticker on it. I have my own stickers that say thank you for your order. A little mm. thing I do for them, just whether they care or not. I like it. And the guy calls, he sends me a text. He's like, hey, Robert, this is so-and-so. Um, I don't know why you're getting another burrito. I just got mine. So I don't need it. I was like, all right. So he cancels the order. I get $2.18 and a burrito. Oh, nice. It's like, fuck it. It's awesome. Yeah. Good times. So, okay. But Ask me, okay. okay. L- l- how does this work payment-wise? Not payment-wise, but the burrito in Oscars costs... Ten dollars. Uh-huh. How much in total am I paying for that? For you to bring that burrito Don't know. to me? I've never used Postmates. Mm. I've thought about it. I should know. You should. It'd be nice. I would appreciate this. It'd be good for the podcast too. What? Knowing how, like how much podcast, how much, how much Postmates add adds to. Um, it's like you have to order X amount of food. Like you, ha- you have a dollar amount that you have to order. And then I hear it's like add like ten dollars to whatever you ordered. Ten dollars. Yeah. Well, because know. the standard fee, the lowest that I've ever gotten for a completed order is four dollars and ten cents. Okay. So four dollars so five let's just call it five dollars of that goes here. Yeah. Five dollars of that goes to them. And yeah. I'm sure like there's another little pride, like a, a subscription fee yeah. or some other shit. I don't know. But they're making money somehow. Somehow. Now, I feel bad because I go in there to pick up this food, and everything's done on a credit card, Postmates credit card. Yeah. 
and I have to sign this. And I always look at that tip line, and I'm just like, nope. I can't give you, I don't even know if I'm getting a tip. Yep. Which, I'll tell you right now, not a lot of people are tipping. Nope. Very, I've, I've, I've done almost 100 orders. I've gotten three cash tips. 100 orders? Yeah. Jeez, Rob, you only started this like, jeez. Uh, shy of two weeks ago. Just shy of two I'd weeks ago. I'd love to know how many that is a day. Fuck. Um, I usually do... 200 divided by 14. But still, fuck. Yeah. I do about 10 a day. Jeez, And I do bro. it just about every day. At least 10 a day. Just because, just to head out there? I mean, because if not, I'm just sitting here. Are you going to do it now, after this? I'll do it after this, yes. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, so I do that. I look at the tip line, and I'm just like, fuck, I wish I could tip you. But nope. I think about it two ways. First off, I've had a conversation with a couple of the people, and they're just like, yeah, it sucks we're not getting a tip. Yep, it does. And I'm just like, yeah, it sure it does. I, I don't like Postmates. However, look at it this way. Yeah. Chances are, if Postmates wasn't there, or Grubhub, or Uber Eats, or uh, whatever. Largest game of things. You're not going to get that order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it does suck that you guys used your time to get this, or to, to make all this. But without that, you wouldn't you, you the company wouldn't have made that twenty bucks or the fifty bucks or whatever it was. So you guys wouldn't have made that money anyways. And that money, whether you get tipped out or not, that money keeps you keeps your hours alive. Because especially in the kitchen, like if there's nothing going on, mm. you, somebody gets cut. You yeah. know? Yeah. So no, I I get you. I guess I'm just being a little selfish. On the no tip line? No, because I, I get that too. Like a lot of the colleges I go to, mm -hmm. I don't, I don't get tips. Yeah. Well, yeah. Like on like, okay. So last night I went, I was out by your house, mm -hmm. um, which is the sports arena area. Mm -hmm. And it wanted me to go. Nothing was pinging. I wasn't getting any hits. And then finally something came through and it was like, go to a liquor store in La Jolla and get a bottle of champagne. And I got it. And you don't know where you're taking it to until you pick it up. So I picked it up. And then it wanted me to go twenty another 20 minutes out of my way. Like, or not out of my way, but 20 minutes away to deliver it. And then in these colleges, the thing that kills me is, like, I get a, I get a direction that says, uh, go, it tells me the address. And then it says, go to the Northwest Building 8. And then... It's the East Dorms in Building 1412. I'm on the third floor, Apartment 6. Who the fuck, who the fuck am I going to find any of this? Yeah. So I'm driving. Now I'm wasting another 10 minutes driving around. I can only see Building 1 and 2 from the streets. In order to see Building 3 through 10, I have to get out of my car, walk fucking a half mile down these steps <laughs> to find any of these buildings. Yeah. So I just started hitting him up, like, meet me over here. Like, this is where I'm at. Yeah. Okay, all you got to do is go up this walkway and then go to the left because you're on the opposite side. Will you just come meet me? How do you take that? It's always like, a, uh, yeah, okay, I'll be there. Now, realistically, I can hit the five-minute timer, and if they lag, I can just leave. Nice. I don't do that because yeah. here's the thing. You don't want to drive to the liquor store or to the food place to get this. I drove it here for you. Obviously, you paid the fee for it. Yeah. But I can walk around with your food getting cold as shit for 20 minutes trying to figure out this area that I've never been. No. Or you know how to get here in two minutes. Everyone's probably thinking it. What Can an underage person order beer? Yes. When you do that, though, it on. I've done about... 10 liquor orders. Okay. Eight of them have required me to scan a passport or an ID before I can deliver it. Okay. Or so when I get there, before I hand them the thing or before I can complete my purchase, I need to scan an ID or a passport. Oh. Okay. So it, it has it there. Yeah. There was one person I dr delivered to, they they were like, oh, well, because uh, uh, I always text them, hey, just so you know, have your ID ready because I'm going to be there. You know, try to, you know, that way there's no problems. And the girl on the other line told me, well, uh, it, you're going to get so-and-so. They're going to pick it up, and it's going to be their ID. And, da -da -da. and I was just like, all right. And it was another dorm, and I was just like, I, I can see everybody who's in there. Didn't. 
It didn't look. <laughs> didn't look gold. It, you know. But I, I can't judge because there's some people who just look young. Also, you know what I mean. You know. And this is my job to do. Now you, you have options: underage, too intoxicated, not there, and something else. Okay. But they all seem fine. They had drinks in their hand, and the person who came to the door and offered their ID was an overage ID. Okay. So what am I to do? So it's basically, no, it's, yeah, it's you're doing nothing legal. You're basically, it's the same as me but, getting like me being underage, getting someone to buy me beer. Like, that one also never prompted me to get an ID. Hmm. The f- the three or four before that prompted me, so I just thought it was in every liquor order yeah. was a was a ID. Yeah. But other than that, I'm having fun. I'm driving. Mm-hmm. I drive, drive around, listen to my music, L- drop L- some shit off, pick some shit up. There's a couple places work. I work. Yeah, I get paid for it. Would you recommend it? Um, yeah, but it's it it takes a little bit to get used to because I'm getting used to it. Like, I I've got to start doing more North Park area and all this because everything is a lot closer. Yeah, La Jolla. I don't mind being in La Jolla, but the problem with that is uh, everything. A lot of shit is spread out. There's a lot of like college area. There's a lot of apartments, and a, and a fair amount of that area right now is under construction. So there's a lot of back fucking yeah. all this shit. But back and forth. Yeah. Yeah. But well, I enjoy it. Good. I'm having fun. That's Ro- that's that's, that's okay. Rob's I two cents. I on. think I've already. Before you take out gas and all this other shit, yeah, I think I'm, over, I'm at about five hundred bucks. Wow! Now you take out gas. Uh, about just under four. Okay. For, uh, uh, about three three fifty at the yeah. at the worst. Yeah. All right. Um. Yeah. So that's gonna. <laughs> We're still we're still messing with the uh yeah. the way. The last last week if you listened, we did a uh we did a regular length episode and uh threw a little commercial in there and then started with that. Um that's a good idea to me. Uh I like having the little break in there. I like finding awkward commercials or awkward things to put in. However, we're gonna try another new thing here. And Normally, when you try new things, you let it run for a while, da da da. But there's some good points being made, so I think we're gonna start trying to release two a week. Uh, I think we're gonna just just do an A and B instead of super stacking the the numbers, you know? Yeah. Do A and B. We'll do a catch up and a topic, and that should work out. That way, you don't nobody has to skip through, nobody has to do this. So it has a world of benefits. Let me know what you guys think. Yeah. Uh, do you uh, do you have a podcast? Do you have these maybe these next, hang-ups? Maybe do you next have these week ideas? we might do the long one again. Yes. Just see how people like compare it to. And we can maybe mm. check the downloads as well. Indeed. So. Indeed. All right. Well, so. this since this one will be released earlier, thank you for listening. Definitely. Please let us know if you have any questions or anything for us or if you just want to say hey. Yeah. Indeed. Check out our Facebook and we have Twitter at the Mars Pod. And yeah, that's all I can think about. Okay. Alright, we'll see you in a few minutes slash a few days. Woo-hoo.